Tomorrow you're going over to the McKinney's and apologize before they leave town. I can't. You. Happy Days, an American television sitcom that aired on ABC from 1974 to 1984, was created by Gary Marshall. This classic series became one of the most successful of the 70s, presenting an idealized vision of life in the 1950s and early 60s, set in the Midwest. The show gained immense popularity and left a lasting impact on audiences, providing a nostalgic look at a simpler time. The series' charm and enduring appeal have made it a favorite among older adults. Let's delve into the world of this iconic show and explore its memorable characters and storylines. <laughs> Happy Days, a classic television series that aired in 1974, starred Ron Howard as Richie Cunningham, Henry Winkler as his friend Fonzie, and Tom Bosley, and Marion Ross as Richie's parents Howard and Marion Cunningham. The show's original concept was initially envisioned by Paramount executives as a sitcom set in the 1920s or 30s. However, Gary Marshall, who was approached to create the show, had a different idea. Marshall, who was familiar with the 1950s, developed a pilot about a Midwestern family and their new TV set. The show was set in the 1950s, a time of innocence and optimism, and focused on the everyday lives of the Cunningham family. Richie, the all-American boy, was the show's protagonist and his friendship with Fonzie, the leather jacket wearing motorcycle riding cool guy, was at the heart of the series. The show's setting and characters resonated with audiences and Happy Days quickly became a hit. The series ran for 11 seasons and spawned several spin-offs, including Laverne and Shirley and Mork and Mindy. The show's success can be attributed to its relatable characters, wholesome humor, and nostalgic portrayal of the 1950s. Happy Days was a groundbreaking show in many ways. It introduced characters that were complex and multidimensional, and it tackled social issues of the time in a way that was both entertaining and thought-provoking. The show's portrayal of the 1950s was also significant. It presented a vision of the past that was both idealized and realistic, capturing the spirit of the time while also acknowledging its flaws. In conclusion, Happy Days was a classic television series that captured the hearts of audiences with its relatable characters, wholesome humor, and nostalgic portrayal of the 1950s. The show's original concept, which was developed by Gary Marshall, was a departure from the initial vision of Paramount executives, and it proved to be a winning formula. The show's enduring popularity is a testament to its timeless appeal and its ability to resonate with audiences then and now. How? Sorry. The pilot episode of what would become the beloved TV series Happy Days did not initially find success. It was first aired as a vignette on the anthology series Love American Style, which was known for showcasing failed pilots. The show's creator, Gary Marshall, had originally intended to name it Cool. However, test audiences associated the name with cigarettes, leading to the eventual title Happy Days. This classic television show would go on to become a cultural phenomenon, bringing warmth and nostalgia to audiences for generations. Yeah. You know something? You got a really good eye for poke. After enrolling in the University of Southern California School of Cinematic Arts to pursue his dream of becoming a director, Ron Howard found himself at a crossroads. He had initially not planned on taking on another television series. However, when the opportunity to play Richie Cunningham in Happy Days presented itself, he saw it as a way to avoid being drafted. At the time, working for Paramount could provide him with an occupational deferment. Howard's decision to join the cast of Happy Days was not driven by a desire to continue acting, but rather by practical considerations. As a young man eager to build a career in the film industry, he recognized the value of gaining more experience and exposure. Little did he know that this classic show would become a cultural phenomenon and leave an indelible mark on television history. Throughout the series, Howard's portrayal of Richie Cunningham resonated with audiences and his character became the heart of the show. Despite his initial reluctance to join the cast, Howard embraced the opportunity and delivered a memorable performance that would solidify his place in television history. As the show gained popularity, Howard continued to hone his craft, learning valuable lessons about storytelling, directing, and working with a team. These experiences would serve him well in his future endeavors, both in front of and behind the camera. In the end, Howard's decision to join Happy Days proved to be a wise one. Not only did it provide him with the opportunity to avoid being drafted, 
but it also gave him invaluable experience and exposure that would help him build a successful career in the film industry. How are you, Fudgy? Fuzzy? <laughs> oh yeah, hey, listen, go back to sleep. The immense success of George Lucas's 1973 film, American Graffiti, ignited a wave of 1950s nostalgia that swept across the nation. This resurgence of interest in the past prompted ABC to reconsider a project that had previously been set aside. Gary Marshall's Happy Days, a television series that had yet to find its footing, was given new life after ABC executives were impressed by Ron Howard's performance in American Graffiti. Howard, who played the lead role in American Graffiti, was already a familiar face to audiences, having appeared in several films and television shows. His portrayal of Steve Belander in American Graffiti was a convincing one, and it was this performance that convinced ABC to take a chance on Happy Days. The television series, which was set in the 1950s, was a perfect fit for the nostalgia craze that American Graffiti had helped to create. Happy Days premiered in 1974 and quickly became a hit with audiences. The show, which starred Howard as Richie Cunningham, followed the lives of a group of teenagers growing up in the 1950s. The series was lighthearted and fun, and it captured the spirit of the era in a way that resonated with audiences. The success of Happy Days can be traced directly back to the success of American Graffiti. The film's portrayal of the 1950s as a time of innocence and optimism struck a chord with audiences, and Happy Days built on this theme, creating a world that audiences wanted to be a part of. The show's catchy theme song, its memorable characters, and its timeless stories all contributed to its enduring popularity. In the end, Happy Days became one of the most beloved television series of all time. The show ran for 11 seasons and spawned several spin-offs, including Alvern and Shirley and Mork and Mindy. The success of Happy Days was a testament to the power of nostalgia and the appeal of a simpler time. And it all started with a film that captured the hearts of audiences and sparked a cultural phenomenon. Now I hope college isn't as hard as those tests were. You want to go to college, you got to take the test. Henry Winkler, a relatively unknown actor at the time, had his doubts about landing the role of Fonzie in Happy Days. The producers had initially set their sights on Mickey Dolenz, but Winkler's height proved to be a better match for his co-star, Ron Howard. As it turned out, Winkler's skepticism was unfounded. His portrayal of the cool and confident Fonzie became the standout character of the show, capturing the hearts of audiences and making him a household name. The dynamic between Winkler and Howard, who played Richie Cunningham, was a crucial element in the success of Happy Days. Their contrasting heights and personalities created a compelling on-screen chemistry that resonated with viewers. Winkler's casting as Fonzie proved to be a pivotal moment in his career, launching him into stardom and solidifying his place in television history. His performance in Happy Days remains a beloved and enduring part of classic television. Nice client, Mr. Phillips is staff. You know, he's a conscientious administrator, and on top of that, he's a pretty snappy dread. And you know what? Henry Winkler, the actor known for his iconic role as Fonzie in Happy Days, struggled with reading scripts due to dyslexia. This learning disorder affects an individual's ability to read, write, and interpret symbols in an efficient and accurate manner. Winkler was not diagnosed with dyslexia until the age of 31, which made his accomplishments in the entertainment industry even more impressive. During his audition for Happy Days, Winkler only had six lines, but he managed to make a lasting impression on the producers. His quick thinking and ability to improvise caught their attention, and he was ultimately cast as the beloved character, Fonzie. Despite the challenges that came with his dyslexia, Winkler persevered and became a successful actor. He used his platform to raise awareness about dyslexia and even wrote a series of children's books about a dyslexic fourth grader named Hank Zipser. Winkler's experience with dyslexia serves as an inspiration to those who also struggle with learning disorders. His ability to overcome his challenges and succeed in his career is a testament to his determination and resilience. It just goes to show that with hard work and dedication, anything is possible. That's 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 6 o'clock. It's easy for you, you can see. This is ridiculous. The iconic TV series Happy Days opened with a lively rendition of Rock Around the Clock recorded specifically for the show's introduction by Bill Haley. During the first two seasons, this song set the tone for the series, with the original single version used only once in the initial episode. The upbeat tune perfectly encapsulated the carefree spirit of the 1950s, the era in which the show was set, and created a memorable experience for viewers. This classic tune 
with its catchy lyrics and rhythm, contributed to the show's early success and remains a beloved part of its legacy. I think we know who it is who, uh, who, who bumped into your bike. <laughs> hey, Muff, you find out who... In the fourth season of Happy Days, a thrilling three-part story arc was introduced, centered around a character named Pinky Tuscadero. Played by Roz Kelly, Pinky was a daring motorcycle daredevil who quickly caught the eye of Fonzie, one of the show's main characters. The introduction of Pinky Tuscadero was no accident, as she was handpicked by ABC executive Fred Silverman to bring a fresh energy to the series. Pinky's arrival was met with significant press coverage, as fans of the show were eager to see how this new character would fit into the world of Happy Days. With her bold personality and fearless stunts, Pinky quickly became a fan favorite, and her chemistry with Fonzie was undeniable. As a love interest for Fonzie, Pinky brought a new dynamic to the show, and her presence helped to further develop his character. The relationship between Fonzie and Pinky was a central focus of the story arc, and fans were captivated by their romantic tension and exciting adventures. Ross Kelly's portrayal of Pinky Tuscadero was a highlight of the fourth season of Happy Days, and her character left a lasting impact on the series. With her unique style and daring personality, Pinky Tuscadero remains a beloved character among fans of this classic show. Her introduction was a turning point in the series, and it helped to solidify Happy Days as a cultural phenomenon that continues to be celebrated today. I need some magic ropes. Rope, rope, rope. Oh, here's yeah. some rope. Just, just take a seat over here, sir. Yeah, right over here. In the 1970s, the TV series Happy Days became a cultural phenomenon, captivating audiences with its wholesome depiction of American life in the 1950s. The show's talented cast, including Ron Howard, Henry Winkler, and Roz Kelly, contributed to its success. However, behind the scenes, tensions reportedly arose between Roz Kelly and her co-stars, particularly Henry Winkler. Kelly, who played Pinky Tuscadero, the love interest of Winkler's character, Arthur Fonzi Fonzarelli, had a brash personality and a different background than the rest of the cast. This led to clashes and conflicts, making it difficult for her to fit in with the group. As a result, the show's producers decided to write her character out of the series quietly. After leaving Happy Days, Roz Kelly's life took a dramatic turn. In November 1998, she was arrested for firing a shotgun into a neighbor's living room after being disturbed by a car alarm. According to reports, Kelly pled no contest, received three years of felony probation, psychiatric counseling, and was ordered to pay restitution. Despite the challenges she faced, Roz Kelly remains a part of Happy Days history, a show that continues to resonate with audiences today. Her story serves as a reminder of the complex dynamics that can exist behind the scenes of even the most beloved TV series. In October 2000, Roz Kelly was sentenced to 120 days in jail after pleading no contest to charges stemming from an incident where she hit a man with her cane. She avoided additional jail time by receiving credit for the 98 days she had already spent in jail. Four years. <laughs> Happy Days, a popular TV series that aired from 1974 to 1984, is a nostalgic look back at the 1950s in America. This classic show, set in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, revolves around the Cunningham family and their lovable friends. The series, with its simple and heartwarming storylines, became a cultural phenomenon. It captured the innocence and spirit of a bygone era, creating a sense of warmth and familiarity that resonated with audiences. Happy Days was more than just a sitcom. It was a reflection of the American dream during a time of significant social change. The show's characters, each with their unique personalities, embodied the values and aspirations of the era. Centered around the Cunninghams, the series featured Richie, a relatable and earnest teenager, and his wise cracking best friend, Potsy. The show also starred Fonzie, the leather-clad, motorcycle-riding cool guy who became an iconic figure in American pop culture. The series, set in a local diner, and the Cunningham's home provided a backdrop for the characters' adventures and misadventures. From dating and school to family and friendship, Happy Days explored the universal themes of growing up in a way that continues to captivate audiences today. Happy Days was not just a TV show. It was a reflection of American culture during a time of significant social change. The series' enduring popularity is a testament to its ability to transport audiences to a simpler time one filled with laughter, love, and the spirit of friendship.
Hello. Oh, it's Joni. Uh, now, is everything all right, dear? The creation of the 1974 TV series Happy Days brought together a talented cast that would become beloved by audiences worldwide. Each actor was carefully chosen, shaped by a unique audition process and chemistry tests. For the role of Howard Cunningham, the wise and lovable father, veteran actor Tom Bosley was an easy choice. With his extensive stage experience, Bosley's audition left a lasting impression on the show's creators. The search for the perfect Richie Cunningham, the show's clean-cut, all-American teenager, led them to Ron Howard. Already an established child actor, Howard's natural charm and wholesome image made him ideal for the part. Casting Marion Cunningham, the nurturing and supportive mother, proved to be a delightful challenge. Marion Ross, a seasoned actress with a knack for playing warm and loving characters, won the hearts of the casting directors. Henry Winkler's unforgettable portrayal of Arthur Fonzi Fonzarelli began with a single guest appearance. Producers were so impressed by Winkler's charisma and comedic timing that they expanded his role, transforming Fonzie into a central character. Don Most, who played Ralph Mouth, and Anson Williams, who took on the part of Potsy Weber, were both cast due to their natural comedic abilities and strong chemistry with the rest of the cast. As the show progressed, new characters like Chachi Arcola, played by Scott Bio, and Joni Cunningham, portrayed by Aaron Morin, joined the mix, adding to the already vibrant ensemble. In the end, the casting of Happy Days proved to be a winning combination, creating an enduring legacy that continues to resonate with audiences today. Out there in trouble in the middle of the night and not have the good sense to get to a phone and call us. The director of Happy Days, Gary Marshall, had a clear vision for the show. He wanted to create a nostalgic portrayal of the 1950s, focusing on the simple joys of that era. Marshall's approach was to emphasize the warmth and humor within the story, which he achieved through his unique directing style. Marshall's creative influences were deeply rooted in his own experiences growing up in the 1950s. He drew inspiration from his childhood memories, using them to shape the world of happy days. The director's vision was to present an idealized version of the past, filled with wholesome values and a sense of community. One of Marshall's most notable directorial techniques was his ability to collaborate closely with the cast and crew. He fostered a positive, and supportive working environment, which allowed the actors to feel comfortable and confident in their roles. Marshall's collaborative approach also extended to the writers, musicians, and set designers, ensuring that every aspect of the show aligned with his vision. In terms of style, Marshall preferred a straightforward and unpretentious approach to storytelling. He believed in letting the characters and their relationships drive the narrative, rather than relying on flashy visuals or complicated plot lines. This straightforward style helped to establish a strong emotional connection between the audience and the show. Marshall's directorial vision for Happy Days was instrumental in bringing the story to life. His unique blend of nostalgia, warmth, and humor resonated with audiences, making Happy Days one of the most popular television series of the 1970s. The show's enduring legacy is a testament to Gary Marshall's skill as a director and his ability to create a captivating and enduring vision. Fine. I knew that I should not run my bath water before I take care of the family. All right, Joni, get your boots. The production of the 1974 TV series Happy Days took viewers back to the 1950s, presenting an idealized image of American life. The set design played a crucial role in creating this nostalgic atmosphere. The show was primarily set in Arnold's Drive-In and the Cunningham Home, both of which were built on sound stages at Paramount Studios in Hollywood. Arnold's Drive-In, a key social hub in the series, featured a distinct 1950s diner aesthetic, complete with a long counter, stools, and a jukebox in the corner. The set designers paid meticulous attention to detail, from the vintage Coca-Cola signs to the black and white checkered flooring. This environment successfully evoked the spirit of the era, inviting audiences to step into a simpler time. The Cunningham Home, another central location, was designed to reflect a typical middle-class family residence of the 1950s. With its cozy living room, functional kitchen, and modest bedrooms, the set provided a warm and inviting backdrop for the characters' daily lives. The use of earthy colors and familiar furnishings further contributed to the overall sense of comfort and nostalgia. Filming for Happy Days took place in Los Angeles, which posed several logistical challenges. The series required a significant amount of exterior shooting which meant the production team had to navigate the city's bustling streets and find suitable locations to double as 1950s-era settings. 
To minimize disruptions, the crew often filmed these scenes early in the morning or late at night. Despite these challenges, the production team employed innovative techniques and technologies to ensure smooth filming. For instance, they used a multi-camera setup, which allowed them to capture various angles simultaneously and reduce the need for time-consuming retakes. This approach also fostered a more collaborative atmosphere on set, as actors could play off one another's performances in real time. Another notable innovation was the use of video assist technology. This system enabled the director and crew members to review footage immediately after it was shot, allowing for quick adjustments and ensuring the final product met their creative vision. In summary, the production of Happy Days hinged on meticulous set design, strategic location choices, and the adoption of cutting-edge filming techniques. These elements coalesced to transport viewers to a bygone era, creating an enduring series that continues to captivate audiences today. <laughs> All right, you get along with this guy? Well, no, not really. He always greets me by shaking my face. <laughs> the creation of the Happy Days score and soundtrack was a collaborative effort that perfectly complemented the narrative and emotional tone of the 1974 TV series. The show's musical landscape was primarily shaped by composer Charles Fox and musician Billy Strange. Charles Fox, an accomplished composer, had already made a name for himself in the industry with his work on TV shows and films like Love, American Style, and Enter the Dragon. For Happy Days, Fox aimed to create a timeless sound that would resonate with audiences. He drew inspiration from the late 1950s and early 1960s, the era in which the show was set, to craft a memorable and engaging score. Billy Strange, a multi-talented musician, was also instrumental in shaping the Happy Days soundtrack. As a guitarist, he had worked with renowned artists such as Elvis Presley and Nancy Sinatra. Strange's experience in various genres, including rock and roll and pop, allowed him to create an eclectic mix of songs that captured the spirit of the show. The music in Happy Days not only enhanced the series' nostalgic atmosphere, but also served as a narrative tool. For instance, the upbeat theme song, Happy Days, set the stage for the show's lighthearted and optimistic tone. Meanwhile, the use of period-specific tunes, such as Rock Around the Clock and The Twist, helped establish the setting and create a sense of familiarity for viewers. Moreover, the show's characters were often associated with specific musical styles or themes. Fonzie, the show's beloved cool guy, was frequently accompanied by rock and roll tunes, while the romantic subplots were underscored by softer, more sentimental melodies. In an interview, Charles Fox explained, the music had to be a reflection of the characters and their emotions. It was essential to create a sound that would not only entertain, but also deepen the viewer's connection to the story and the people within it. Billy Strange added, we wanted to make sure that the music was authentic to the time period and the characters. By combining various styles and genres, we were able to create a unique and engaging soundtrack that truly complemented the narrative. In conclusion, the creation of the Happy Days score and soundtrack was a thoughtful and meticulous process. Composer Charles Fox and musician Billy Strange successfully crafted a musical tapestry that not only captured the essence of the show's setting and characters, but also enhanced the narrative and emotional tone of the beloved 1974 TV series. The promised to pick me up after school one day, but his car wouldn't start, so he carried me on his back. You did that too? One of the most iconic scenes in Happy Days is undoubtedly the moment when Fonzie jumps his motorcycle over a shark tank in the fifth season's opener, Hollywood Part 3. This scene, often referred to as jumping the shark, has become a cultural phenomenon and a term used to describe the point at which a series begins to decline in quality. The scene is set in a Hollywood studio where Fonzie, wearing his signature leather jacket, is challenged to jump over a tank filled with sharks for a promotional stunt. The direction is crisp, with the camera focusing on Fonzie as he revs up his motorcycle, the tension building with each passing second. The performance by Henry Winkler, who plays Fonzie, is noteworthy. His confident smirk, the casual way he swings his leg over the bike, and his nonchalant attitude before the jump are all classic Fonzie. The cinematography is also impressive. The slow motion shot of Fonzie in midair, the shark swimming in anticipation below, and the final splash as he lands create a thrilling visual experience. The scene's impact is profound, encapsulating the spirit of 70s television and leaving an indelible mark on popular culture. In a 2012 interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Winkler reflected on the scene, it was a crazy idea, and it became a cultural phenomenon. It was a fun moment, 
and it's amazing how it's lasted. The scene, while initially intended as a light-hearted moment, has transcended the show and become a symbol of pop culture history. Another iconic scene is the dance contest between Fonzie and Pinky Tuscadero in the season 3 episode. Fonzie loves Pinky. The chemistry between Winkler and Roz Kelly, who plays Pinky, is electric. The choreography is simple yet effective, with a pair performing classic 50s dance moves. The camera work is intimate, focusing on their faces and movements, drawing the audience into their world. The scene's impact is significant, showcasing the character's playful and flirtatious relationship, which becomes a recurring theme throughout the series. In a 2013 interview with Entertainment Weekly, Kelly commented on the scene, It was a lot of fun. We had a great time. Henry is a fantastic dancer, and we just clicked. These scenes, among many others, have made Happy Days a beloved classic. They encapsulate the spirit of the 50s, the charm of the characters, and the magic of 70s television. <laughs> it must be nice to be bilingual. The 1974 TV series Happy Days had a significant cultural and social impact, resonating with audiences and influencing pop culture in various ways. Set in the 1950s, the show presented an idealized version of American life, often focusing on themes of family, friendship, and the innocence of youth. Audiences were drawn to the show's positive and nostalgic portrayal of the past, providing a comforting escape from the tumultuous events of the 1970s. The show's setting, fashion, and music all contributed to a sense of nostalgia that resonated with viewers, leading to a resurgence of interest in the 1950s culture. Happy Days also had a profound impact on pop culture, introducing several iconic characters and catchphrases that have become ingrained in American culture. The show's lead character, Fonzie, became a cultural icon, representing the epitome of cool and masculinity. His leather jacket, thumbs-up gesture, and catchphrase I became instantly recognizable and enduring symbols of the show. Moreover, Happy Days contributed to discussions on relevant social and cultural themes. The show tackled issues such as racism, gender equality, and the role of women in society, albeit in a subtle and often lighthearted way. The character of Pinky Tuscadero, a female stunt driver, challenged gender stereotypes and provided a positive role model for young girls. The show's impact transcended its original run, inspiring several spin-offs and remakes, including Laverne and Shirley and Joni Loves Chachi. The show's enduring popularity is a testament to its cultural significance and its ability to resonate with audiences across generations. In conclusion, Happy Days had a profound cultural and social impact, resonating with audiences, influencing pop culture, and contributing to discussions on relevant social and cultural themes. The show's positive and nostalgic portrayal of the past, iconic characters, and catchphrases have left an indelible mark on American culture. But when Ruth said she slept in the raw, my tongue got stuck to my teeth. Oh, wow, that shook me up too. Upon its release in 1974, the TV series Happy Days received a warm reception from both critics and audiences. The show, set in the 1950s, struck a chord with viewers who appreciated its nostalgic portrayal of a simpler time. Critics praised the show for its charming cast, led by Ron Howard as Richie Cunningham and Henry Winkler as the iconic Fonzie. In a 1974 review, Time magazine called Happy Days a solid, warm-hearted comedy and commended the show's gentle, unforced humor. Audiences agreed, and Happy Days quickly became a hit. The show ranked in the top 10 of the Nielsen ratings for its first five seasons, and its catchy theme song and memorable characters became cultural touchstones. Happy Days also received recognition from the television industry, earning several award nominations. The show was nominated for three Primetime Emmy Awards, including Outstanding Comedy Series, an outstanding lead actor in a comedy series for Henry Winkler. Winkler's portrayal of Fonzie, with his signature thumbs up, and I catchphrase, became one of the most iconic performances in TV history. The show's impact went beyond just entertainment. Happy Days helped to popularize the 1950s nostalgia trend and inspired several spin off series, including Laverne and Shirley, and Mork and Mindy. Receiving critical acclaim and awards, as well as a devoted audience, is a significant achievement for those involved in a film or TV series. It not only validates their hard work and talent, but also ensures their place in television history. For the cast and crew of Happy Days, these accolades are a testament to the enduring appeal of their beloved show. Uh, exciting happened today? Well, <laughs> just hanging around.
During the filming of Happy Days, the cast and crew faced many challenges, but they also shared some unforgettable moments. For instance, during the first season, Henry Winkler, who played the Fonz, had trouble riding his motorcycle. He was afraid of it, and would often stall the bike during takes. The crew had to resort to pushing the bike while filming to make it look like Winkler was riding it smoothly. Another anecdote involves the iconic jukebox in Arnold's Diner. The prop department had trouble finding a working jukebox that could play 45 RPM records. They finally found one, but it was too loud for the set. The sound department had to build a special box to house the jukebox's speaker and muffle the sound. The cast also had their fair share of funny moments. During one episode, Fonzie was supposed to hit a baseball through a window. The crew set up a breakaway window, but Winkler missed it. Instead, he hit the real window, shattering it. The crew had to stop filming while they cleaned up the glass and replaced the window. Despite these challenges, the cast and crew of Happy Days became close friends. They would often hang out together offset and even went on vacation together. The show's creator, Gary Marshall, was known for his kindness and generosity. He would often bring in food for the cast and crew, and he even paid for one of the actor's weddings. In conclusion, the making of Happy Days was filled with both challenges and memorable moments. From Henry Winkler's trouble with the motorcycle to Gary Marshall's generosity, the show's production was a true testament to the dedication and camaraderie of the cast and crew. Excuse me. Hi. Uh, I was wondering if you could settle a bet that my friends and I have. See. We Indeed, Happy Days, a TV series that first aired in 1974, holds a significant place in film history. This show, set in the 1950s, presented in the 1950s, presented a nostalgic view of American life, focusing on the Cunningham family and their friends. The series became an instant hit, running for an impressive 10 seasons until 1984. The influence of Happy Days extends beyond its entertaining storylines and memorable characters. It played a pivotal role in launching the careers of several renowned actors, such as Ron Howard and Henry Winkler. Howard, who played the series' lead character, Richie Cunningham, later transitioned to directing films, earning critical acclaim for movies like Apollo 13 and A Beautiful Mind. Winkler, who portrayed the iconic Fonzie, continues to act and direct, leaving his unique mark on the film industry. Moreover, Happy Days served as a foundation for various spin-offs, including Laverne and Shirley, Mork and Mindy, and Joni Loves Chachi. These shows further solidified the impact of Happy Days on the television landscape, introducing new characters and storylines that resonated with audiences. The series also inspired a myriad of cultural references in future filmmaking. For instance, the character of Fonzie, with his leather jacket and motorcycle, became an enduring symbol of coolness. This image has been replicated and parodied in numerous films and TV shows, showcasing the lasting impact of Happy Days on popular culture. In addition, the show's setting in the 1950s created a template for other nostalgic series and films. By presenting an idealized version of the past, Happy Days tapped into a collective longing for simpler times. This approach has been replicated in various successful productions, such as Stranger Things and The Goldbergs. In conclusion, Happy Days left an indelible mark on film history, shaping the careers of numerous actors and filmmakers and inspiring future works. Its influence transcended the small screen, impacting the broader cultural landscape and solidifying its status as a classic American television series. <laughs> The year was 1974, and a new TV series, Happy Days, made its debut. Did you tune in? For many, this show became a beloved part of their weekly routine, offering a glimpse into the simple joys and challenges of the 1950s. Perhaps you found yourself reminiscing about your own experiences from that era, or maybe you were too young, but the show still resonated with you, offering a glimpse into a time you never experienced firsthand. Whatever your connection, Happy Days left an indelible mark on television history. The series, set in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, revolved around the Cunningham family and their friends. The show's charm lay in its warm, nostalgic portrayal of a bygone era. It was a time of sock hops, drive-in theaters, and soda shops. It was a time of innocence, of first loves, and lasting friendships. The show's impact went beyond entertainment. It introduced us to characters that became cultural icons, who can forget the Fonz with his leather jacket and thumbs up gesture, or Richie Cunningham, the all-American boy next door. Happy Days also had a profound influence on the way we view cinema. It popularized the 1950s setting, 
paving the way for future films and TV shows set in this era. It showed us that nostalgia has a powerful appeal, that there's something comforting about stepping back in time, even if only for a moment. So, dear viewers, we'd love to hear from you. What are your memories of Happy Days? How did the show impact you personally? Did it influence your perspective on cinema? Share your stories with us. Like, share, and subscribe for more cinematic explorations. Let's keep the conversation going. To my place and I'll change. No. No, it took me all day to get used to this sweater. And we're going out to...